Now, after the decision, there was really mixed emotions tonight, both in the council chambers and after. At one point, you had both parents and a council member in tears. You had cheering at other points, especially after they voted to create that subcommittee. But overall, the feeling here from the community members and the parents who attended was certainly one of frustration with just how this entire thing has been handled from the start. I want to show you a video from inside today. Much of that room full of orange shirts with supporters of Preston Lord, the teen killed at a Queen Creek Halloween party by teen violence in late October. His death is what prompted the community's fear and concern about increased teen violence that was escalating in the East Valley. The Gilbert police chief spoke to tonight and said they're now investigating nine cases of teen violence, up from eight yesterday, and that some are possibly linked to the group they're referring to as the Gilbert Goons. The latest case, they say, was a 2022 assault that was previously unreported. Public comment tonight, full of parents frustrated with lack of action by the town of Gilbert and their perspective that the town, both the council and the police department, has turned a blind eye to all of this. At one point, council member Jim Torgerson told the rest of the council they needed to make a decision. It's either a yes or a no. There is no going around it. So I'm a, the amount of discussion of whether we're doing this or not seems silly to me. And that part of the conversation seemed to spur some agreement from the community members after some tension from parents, then asking the council, namely the mayor, to show some urgency here. The council members eventually voted six to zero to create the subcommittee. Whether it's right or wrong, I could tell who was speaking from the heart and who was reading off a statement. After you spoke up, they, they voted. Um, you know what? It, it seemed to have a little bit of impact. And I understand their hands are tied, but again, what can we do now? Let's focus on that. So many sharing that same sentiment tonight. We know Gilbert Police is also working to determine whether the group they're calling the Gilbert Goons can be legally classified as a criminal street gang in Arizona. That would affect prosecution in any of these cases because if they are legally deemed a gang, the charges could be enhanced or much more severe. The council did talk about wanting to get an update on the subcommittee at their next meeting. A lot of the parents, when they were coming out of the council chamber, saying, OK, this is a good first step. We want to now see action and see what details the subcommittee is going to come up with in terms of actually doing something about the violence. So we will be waiting to hear from that. Of course, a lot of people in there supporting Preston Lord. And tomorrow we're going to hear from the Maricopa County uh, attorney. She has her weekly press conference. We'll be there asking the questions about what's going on with the Preston Lord death investigation as the charges now rest in her hands, guys. Yeah, she has a big decision ahead of her, Brianna. Uh, so a lot of those parents were vocal coming out of that meeting tonight. What about members of the council? Did any of them have anything to say on their way out? You know, we were hoping to talk to them, right? They just made this decision. This is what the entire East Valley is talking about and focusing on right now. So we wanted to ask them, OK, hey, you made the decision. What happens now? They actually had police officers blocking that area so we couldn't even access the council members. And when I asked over the police officer, hey, mayor, would you talk about this and this decision? She said no comment and just to refer to what was talked about in the meeting. So unfortunately, we parents, all of us really didn't get an opportunity to address the council members one-on-one -on -one after to talk about what was decided tonight. Brianna Whitney, thank you so much for the update. It's going to be another night.